I'm Sarah LeBron Velasquez, Director of Education at Standard Process and a nutritionist. And today I'm going to discuss with you the role of inflammation and how omega-3s, specifically EPA and DHA, play a role in the resolution phase. Inflammation is our body's natural defense to defend off of any types of insults that we see. It is key, and many times it gets a bad rap, but inflammation is essential for our bodies. But when it goes into a more chronic state and gets out of control, that's when it becomes an issue. So let's talk about the two phases of inflammation. Inflammation has two key phases, initiation, and more recently discovered the resolution phase um, about 20 years ago with lots of great science behind this. And we'll talk more about that. The initiation phase is when neutrophils, white blood cells, respond to a specific insult. And this is a critical role to help remove that insult. And sometimes we see though, it gets out of control. And when that happens, it's important to think about ways that we nutritionally can help dampen down that initiation phase. It's essential to have it, especially initially, but we want to sometimes dampen it down when it gets out of control. We can look at herbs such as turmeric that have a specific active called curcuminoids that help to um, activate the NERF2 receptors or things like sulforaphane, which is a phytonutrient in cruciferous vegetables, that also can have that response. That it helps to regulate and dampen down that action of the initiation phase when the insult becomes out of control. But when we think about compounds from EPA and DHA, that supports the resolution phase, which means that it brings it back to homeostasis. There are specific down-regulated metabolites from EPA and DHA to support the resolution phase. These are called resolvins, protectins, and marisins, which help, again, bring our body back to homeostasis by recruiting macrophages and doing that cleanup so that it doesn't go out of control. So where do we get EPA and DHA to support the resolution phase? EPA and DHA mostly comes from fatty fish such as sardines, anchovies, mackerels, calamari, salmon, and tuna. As omegas from plants are called ALA, they are another type of omega-3, but they can poorly convert to EPA and barely convert to DHA. And so it is important for us to consume these fatty fish or algae to get those. Specifically, fish have better outcomes. So according to the government's national survey called NHANES, analysis demonstrated that a large percentage of U.S. adult population are not meeting the recommended amounts of omega-3s daily, and pregnant women even more so are not getting that level. So what are those levels that you should be getting every day? According to the dietary intakes, DRIs, the development that which were developed by the Food and Nutrition Board of the Institute of Medicine, now which is called the National Academies of Medicine, Look at adults, so males, 19 to 50, need about 1.6 grams, and females need about 1.1 gram, according to those individuals. When you're pregnant, you need more, 1.4 grams for a female. And then children range from birth to age 13, birth at about 0.5 grams daily for both um, boys and girls. And then we see until eight years old, they need about 0.9 grams. And then as it increases, we see a little bit of differentiation between boys and girls, more to the number of adults. But you should discuss with your healthcare provider the amount of specific recommendation you need because there are specific risk factors that could recommend you to have more omega-3s than those who maybe don't have those risk factors. So please talk to your healthcare provider. So how can we get more fish weekly in our diets? Well, um, consider every day when you're planning your week menu, hey, can I add fish once a week? That's a great way. But then also consider daily adding EPA and DHA from a high quality supplement to support your needs. Especially for us who live in the Midwest, it's sometimes difficult to get fish. And it's a great way to add um, by having that supplement of a high quality source that's concentrated. Today is a day to change your habits. Start including EPA and DHA into your daily routine. Thank you.